Howdy ho, everybody. It is, what is this? Friday, TGIF. I am couch bound today. Um, just not doing well at all. Unable to do anything. So, but I did want to tell you, my husband introduced me to this group called Home Free just today, which I can kind of hear with my headphones. And they did a cover thing with Don McLean of American Pie. Um, I'm not sure you can hear this, but they do. They are absolutely phenomenal. I don't want to show too much before I get in trouble, but they do acapella. They're a group of five guys, and um, they do all these cover things, but they can do things on their own. In fact, some of the lead singers have done some things on their own. But they're doing this with Don McLean himself, and it is just absolutely, you know, if you can hear that, that is... <laughs> amazing uh, even for a deaf person like I could say I still hear a little bit there's one guy on there that has a super deep voice I think it's one of the deepest of all I mean we're talking even, uh, not better than Barry White but more of a range than Barry White he has this incredible range so if you haven't checked them out check out Home Free they have a new album out they are on well, let me shut that off before I get in trouble <laughs> from YouTube they are on Instagram, they are on Facebook, they are on Twitter, um, and of course they're on YouTube. They have, and some of them have their own separate YouTube channels. But yeah, they did the, uh, what was it, Muddy Bottom Boys? <laughs> you know, I'm talking about George Clooney and that whole movie. Well, they did a cover of that one, and it was, oh, I just couldn't believe it. There were no instruments in it at all, it was just their voices. I've known we've heard this before, but you haven't really heard it until you've heard them. <laughs> so anyway, I am at my most embarrassing time here. It is summertime. I keep wanting to say this isn't real, this isn't real. Today I needed help getting dressed. It took me 15 minutes to get my earrings in. Um, I'm having no um, grip strength. They usually try... Uh, test out your grip uh, and dexterity to see how bad you're getting with this uh, disease because they're now calling it autoimmune disease so <laughs> and that pretty well describes it I can no longer do pull-ups at all I uh, last year I lost the use of my hands a year before it's all kind of a blur now because of COVID but um, yeah I lost the use of my hands for like six months um, so that's one of the things I noticed quite a while ago, and so I can't really button things. It's impossible. I, I start shaking so badly, I can't see, like I was showing you the other day, I start focusing, and then I just, you know, the eyes will kind of roll in the back of my head, so <laughs> not good. Um, it's really tough on someone like me, because I was just getting to be independent, and I was going to get my own home. Um, I was living with mother, she had cancer. And then I was going to strike out on my own. I just about finished college, getting my degree in psychology. And then this struck. So I never wanted to be in a relationship, which John knows quite clearly. <laughs> doesn't want to hear about. Um, he, I said mainly, you know, it's nothing him personally. I just, I'm ADD. I'm not very good at relationships because um, I'm just a lousy person to be around. I'm very... Um, impatient I guess because of the the attention deficit and it's not even really that it's that I cannot focus on what I need to focus on um I when I include someone else I think of someone else I think of someone so much that for 20 years I really haven't been writing much at all I haven't written anything it's because it's so hard for me to focus with somebody around I'm sure a lot of artists out there uh, will really relate to this. They kind of, you know, most artists need to be alone, have a lot of alone time. And so work together about 24 hours a day, every day, for quite a few years now. And since, since I've had boulders come down to my car, which you've heard about uh, numerous times. <laughs> so I have not really been leaving, leaving the house. I have to borrow the car, which is about once or twice a year that I even get out on my own. And that's when I'm well. I tried the other day when I showed you, but it was just too much for me. I was so dizzy. I could not stand up. I can't drive. I had to come back home. I had to wait for John to make sure I could get back okay. It's nothing more embarrassing. I was an avid ski racer. I was a skateboarder. 
Um, I wrote music, you know, this is all before I, I lost all my hearing. I wrote songs, I wrote stories. I was a very, very active person. I was a member of the gym. Um, and now I need help sitting up, getting my socks and getting dressed, especially during the summer. So there's definitely brain edema involved here and definitely heat related. And I'm glad they're finding this out now because I got tired of being called a fool and I'm just depressed. Well, naturally, there's things to be depressed about in life, right, folks? We all have that. They, uh, not to the point where you can't walk for two weeks or can't use your hand for six months. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so, and I've tried the various things, like I said, the craving, the cannabis. So there's no use for anybody going on about that. Believe me, if it's out there, I'm going to try it. Any herbal thing. <laughs> it doesn't work for me, mainly because of my ears. So, but I appreciate all the advice, everybody. But because I have tiny, tiny ear canals and the nerve ear damage that's genetic, I have a very specific problem here with the cannabis and those different things causes extreme ear ringing and ear damage. So it's just the way it is. So anyway, I'm stuck here, but I thought I would at least do some PR work for these guys. I love young new artists upcoming. Um, they're not quite there, but they're there. Um, and it's a shame that they don't get more coverage. So um, I, I just want to put that out there again. They're called Home Free. Um, they have their, I think their um, YouTube thing is this, the same thing. I can't see that right now, sorry. I'm shaking right now, so I can't talk long. It's hard to even hold this up. So um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say was, uh, yeah, I can't focus. <laughs> so I apologize. It's really hard to focus for very long. Uh, when I can, I'll be right back out there. But I appreciate the support, guys. I love you, and I hope you're hanging in there. And, and enjoy. For God's sakes, go out and enjoy the summer for me. You know, I really, really want to go swimming so badly. I want to go swimming. I'm going to have to figure out how to get to a swim a swimming pool down at the gym at least. So, mm, call the way ambulance again. <laughs> it's really tough being inside all the time and sleeping. I'm sleeping pretty much 24 hours a day. So, just sharing my love. I'm probably going back to bed. So, thanks guys. Have fun.